Life Below Zero spin-off Life Below Zero Next Generation has become quite a popular series. It features a younger generation of cast members all starting out their lives in a great Alaskan outback with their modern background. Michael Monzo from the cast is one of the personalities who has become a fan favorite given his unique bio and life. Where is Michael Monzo from Next Generation? Michael Monzo is still very much the part of the Life Below Zero Next Generation. The series is fairly new with only two seasons so far and the second season aired from January to May 2021. So he's still in Life Below Zero but you will have to wait utmost year to see him again in the new season if the spin-off gets renewed. If you're asking where he is now, as is in physical locations, we suppose he is at his base camp home near the Delta Junction. He is also still building canoes as a profession and spends time hunting, fishing, and traveling around the wild, beautiful states. Michael Monza brings an impressive report to the Next Generation spinoff, a cano builder. He is mostly famous as a cano builder and is the founder and co-owner of Yukon Freight Works Cano Company. Freighter canoes are slight bigger vessels than the standard cano used to supply goods and gear. They have always been a necessity in the northern country. He found it's preposterous that people there used jet engine boats to get around which consumed a lot of fuel. He did not find any sense in it since he's from Maine where they used stern cano but learned his lesson the hard way when his first canoeing trip ended in chaos with complete destruction of his ride. But he was bent on finding a fuel efficient way to cano and first attempted to do in a cano similar to the traditional jackass lifts, the smaller engine to conserve fuel. Even though he had a few problems with the boat, he enjoyed a very successful hunting and fishing season where he harvested his first moose. This gave his inspiration to build his own canoes which could navigate the Alaskan waters while conserving half of the fuel of jet engine canoes. A college graduate, Manzo is an alumnus of Alaska Pacific University who studied sustainability and the cano building was what he studied for his senior year. His college went out of their way to transform and make exceptions including his unique interests and studies into their academic program. A Mi'kmaq Native American It's in my blood to want to build and design dog sleds and cano. As a Mi'kmaq Indian, culturally APU understood that, he said about his time the APU. Even though it didn't really fit some of their academic programs, they are willing to go above and beyond to not only teach me about the natural world of Alaska, but also combine my love and interest in designing sustainable fuel-efficient subsistence boats for Alaska. Mi'kmaq are ethnic indigenous groups who are not from Alaska, but from Canadian Atlantic provinces and the Gas Peninsula including Maine, where Manzo was from. A soldier, before joining college, Michael was in the military. He was in the 84th Engineers Combat Heavy Battalion and also served one tour of Iraq. Here in the States, it was sanctioned in Fort Richardson. A dog musher is also a dog musher. He owned multiple sled dogs which he used to get around on land when rivers aren't accessible. He truly follows a sustainable lifestyle and has to catch enough summons to feed his dogs.